So with the MMU3 set up and ready to go, we can proceed to load filament and finally get printing. With that, we'll crack straight on. The first step is to load filament. I'm using PLA for the moment, although cut each tip so it's relatively sharp, and straighten the ends as much as you can. Before placing on a filament spool, with the end feeding a little into its respective PTFE tube, just so the spool doesn't tangle itself. With that done, remove the first cassette from the buffer, and proceed to push the first filament through so it reaches the buffer. Then take the end, and feed it into the other side of the wheel, which goes towards the MMU unit. Don't push it all the way into the MMU yet though, as we need to instruct the printer to feed the filament through, in the filament menu, selecting the first slot, which will engage the idler and selector into their first positions, as well as start rotating the pulley until the filament is loaded in. Once loaded, all that's left is to reinsert the cassette into its respective slot back in the buffer. Another way to do this is to use the buttons on the actual unit, so the two side buttons can be pressed to move the selector to the desired position, and the middle button starts or aborts the filament loading process. Repeat the same process across all five filaments, until you successfully load all five into the MMU. So with all filaments now successfully loaded, we can begin the loading test to ensure all is working as expected. We'll select and test each filament slot in turn, after which the MMU unit will load the filament down to the extruder for a second, and then unload to verify all is working correctly. This only takes a moment per colour, and once verified all are being fed down to the extruder successfully, we're ready to print. And for the first print it's advisable to stick to something simple, with several colour changes of course. You'll get the purge tower alongside the model for cleaning out the nozzle between colour changes, and although this may seem excessive, it's actually a lot less than competing models, where filament is purged and flung out the side of the printer before wiping into a purge tower regardless. The larger the model, the more efficient the purging becomes. As it stands then, with this MMU3, Prusa promised significantly improved reliability and usability, and that's certainly the case here. I've had no issues at all so far. The selector moves side to side in order to select the correct filament colour, and feeds it down to the extruder to continue with the print, while the accompanying buffer system significantly reduces the frequency of filament jams and improves the overall handling of the device, having a direct impact on printing efficiency. My only issue is the space taken by having the five spools behind the device, which can be an annoyance. Saying that, there are solutions out there, one of which we'll cover in the next video. For now though, if you're already invested in the Prusa ecosystem, this is a great unit for multicolour printing, carrying many benefits over the competition, with the speed, reliability, and reduced wastage being just a few. 